Have you ever heard of the Hartlepool Monkey Hanger? Today we're diving into one of history's most bizarre and darkly humorous tales. Picture this. The small fishing town of Hartlepool, nestled on the northeastern coast of England, is living under the shadow of the Napoleonic Wars. The air is thick with tension and paranoia is as common as a cup of tea. The fear of a French invasion has the townsfolk on edge. One day something unusual catches the fishermen's eyes. Washing ashore is not debris nor a sailor but a monkey, the alleged sole survivor of a French shipwreck. Theories abound as to how this monkey found itself on a French warship. Was it a ship's mascot, or perhaps a pet to one of the sailors? To the people of Hartlepool, this monkey was a curiosity, an exotic creature in a miniature military-style uniform. Dressed in a miniature military-style uniform, possibly to amuse the crew, the monkey's appearance would lead to a tragic misunderstanding. In a town where few had ever seen such an exotic animal, let alone a Frenchman up close, the monkey's strange attire and unfamiliar sounds convinced some that they had captured a French spy. Imagine the scene, a small English town, its citizens on edge, suddenly faced with a bewildering creature in a military-style uniform chattering away in what they could only assume was French. The monkey must have seemed as alien to them as a Martian landing in Times Square. The townsfolk, fueled by fear and suspicion, decided to put the monkey on trial. Yes, you heard me right, a trial for a monkey. The courtroom was likely a buzz with whispers and incredulous laughter as the accused was brought in, probably still wearing its miniature uniform, looking every bit the confused, frightened animal it was. Now imagine the prosecution's case. A monkey, presumably unable to present any form of identification, let alone a passport, was accused of being a spy simply because it survived a shipwreck and was dressed in a military uniform. You can almost picture the townspeople squinting at the monkey, trying to discern some sign of espionage in its bewildered eyes. And then, the defense. Who would have stood for this innocent creature? Perhaps some argued for its release, others for a more humane end. But in the end, the monkey had no real advocate. It couldn't speak for itself, couldn't plead innocence or explain its presence on a French ship. As the trial progressed, the absurdity of the situation only grew, yet the fear of French invasion was so great that it overrode any sense of reason. The townsfolk wanted security, reassurance, a villain to blame for their fears, and the monkey in its strange attire fit the bill. The logic, absurd as it might seem, was not entirely unfounded in the hysteria of the times. A trial ensued, and as legend has it, the monkey was found guilty. The verdict was a foregone conclusion, the sentence a grim testament to the power of fear and paranoia. Here stood a town so terrified of invasion that they saw enemies even in the most unlikely of places. The townspeople, unable to communicate with the spy and taking its silence as defiance, sentenced the monkey to hang. In a spectacle of absurdity and fear, the monkey, dressed in its tiny military garb, was led to an improvised gallows on the beach. This grim scene, while darkly humorous in retrospect, was a testament to the hysteria that had gripped the town. The threat of French invasion was so real, so palpable, that even a mute monkey could be condemned as a spy. The monkey's execution, however, did not end the story. Instead, it marked the beginning of a new chapter for the town of Hartlepool. The tale of the Hartlepool monkey hanger soon spread far and wide, becoming a peculiar footnote in the annals of British history. But within the confines of Hartlepool, it became much more than that. It became a part of the town's identity, an emblem of their unique place in history. Even today, the story of the Hartlepool monkey hanger lives on. The town's football club fans proudly bear the nickname Monkey Hangers, a cheeky nod to their forebears' supposed gullibility, and in the town's center, a statue of a monkey in a sailor's outfit stands tall, forever immortalizing the legend. To the townspeople, it serves as a reminder of their past, a conversation starter, and perhaps a symbol of their enduring sense of humor. The Hartlepool Monkey Hanger story, while macabre, is often recounted with a mixture of disbelief and humor. It's an extraordinary tale that encapsulates the surreal moments history is capable of producing. A time of fear and folly where a monkey was mistaken for a spy, hanged by a town on edge and ultimately became a symbol of local pride. It's a testament to the human capacity for absurdity, even in the most dire of circumstances, reminding us that history is not only made of battles and leaders, but also of bizarre happenings and peculiar tales.